Hey there everybody, my name is Kevin Moore, welcome back for a new video of NHL 20 Franchise Mode. We're continuing this series, boys. I can't talk right now. Out of breath for some reason. But anyways, uh, we're continuing this series right here. We're at the trade deadline of our second season. We're going to finish the season. Maybe jump into the free agency or something. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it to the playoffs. Uh, we still have a chance, technically. I made the trades already in the... At the end of the last video, I don't have to make any more further trades. Um, I went and got a couple of players like uh, Thomas Tatar, for, for example. So we got him. He should be able to help us out a little bit. I think that's the only guy I found that was uh, European that could help us, boys. So I didn't find anybody else that could eventually help us out. I We really need Thomas Grice, though, to, to start playing better. Because Newvert is playing good, but for some reason it won't let me put Newvert as the main guy. So, uh, Grice is definitely going to have to do the, the big job, big time as a starter. So, he needs to to start producing, really. Alright, let's start the simulation up, boys. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So, all the way up to the Buffalo Sabres game over there. Let's hope that uh, we had a new trade now that we did. Uh, oh! Evander Kane's going to Florida, boys, or is at, not Florida, but is going to San Jose, I guess. Not sure if it's the other way around or who gets what. Anyways, he gets traded for two first rounders. That's that's a, quite a lot, boys. All right, a minor trade there with uh, could have been going out, and uh, Andy Green is back. Uh, is he truly back here? I think he's fully healed, and we oh, yeah we already had him in the roster and everything. All right, good. Uh, we're going to decline that trade. And let's move it on. There we go. We got a win, boys. That's good. Uh, we get a shout-out, but then we get shout out, So that's not good. Frolly gets injured right away. Damn it. We need a full roster right now. Frolly is part of the first line. So that's even worse, boys. Now we got to use uh, Tobias Ryder. Now, Tobias Ryder is a playmaker. Fuck. Sniper to a forward playmaker. Yeah, sure. He can play there. He can play there uh, in the meantime, right? There's no arm in that. Unless I could always play uh, Botker in there. There we go. Botker is a playmaker as well. But that puts us at two playmakers in there. Yeah, I could do that. There we go. So that puts us playmaker, two way forward, and a sniper in there. And playmaker, power forward, two way forward. There we go. And uh, sniper, two way forward, two way forward. All right. Interesting. And uh, we got something in the extras right here. The uh, three on three. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to put somebody in here. Uh, really put anyone you want. I guess uh, the left wing. So put Tobias Ryder in here. Since he's the one replacing uh, Barker or whatever. Not Barker but uh, the other guy. Alright let's go boys. We got, the, we got two wins. There's another... Uh, Injury here, but that's in the minors. There, there's three wins, four wins in a row. That's what I'm talking about right here. We get a loss, two losses in the regulation now. Frolik is injured, is back from injury, which is uh really good for us. That's awesome. Botker, is he doing better? Yeah, he's doing better. I think it's just these two playing so well together that they elevate, elevate uh anybody guy, uh anybody else that plays right. So. Ryder is doing pretty decent here. I'm actually going to have to put him uh, per Pro League instead of him though back. So Pro League being a two-way forward. Um, sniper, two-way forward. Playmaker, it's really helping him out. I really want to, yeah, I'm going to use Barker in there. He's a two-way uh, third liner uh, Pro League. So let's see if he's a two-way forward. We already have, this is a perfect lineup right there. This is working out perfectly like it's got all the things two way forward power forward uh two way forward as well i'll keep frolic in here for now let's see if if that's gonna work out or not or we could always you know what well no because vanek is a second liner he should be playing on the third line he should not be playing on the third line i should say i don't have any more space for him though let me try something out. I guess I can put Vanek in there. That's going to be two, uh, three two-way forwards playing together. That's going to hurt a lot, uh, the fourth line. They're already doing bad, but 
I mean, I can't change it up, but I can probably help this line up here, right? Because the sniper power forward, two way forward. I don't know. It doesn't help that much. No, no. Let's keep Vanek in here. Let's keep Vanek in here, boys. I'm sure he can do uh, better here. All right. Let's just keep it that way. Let's see if that's going to uh, work out. Uh, for a leak in the third line. So we get a loss. So we're at three losses in a row here after our fifth, uh, five game winning streak. Or four game winning streak. All right. So we did good. Like once again, we started with a winning streak, but then all of a sudden we go back into the same amount of losing streak, which is definitely bad. So I, I've, I'm pretty sure at this point we're not making the playoffs. Uh, it's pretty much over for us, right? We're out of the picture, I'm pretty sure. So just complete, dude, dude, completely play. As if uh, you had nothing to lose, boys. Gonna need to play and uh, hope for the best, really. There's nothing we can do. Uh, we lost way too many games there. And still, so 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10. I think this is the last games anyway. So this is the last, the, the end of the season here. The twelve uh, last 12 games. Uh, Cini got injured. God damn it. All these injuries that I got during the entire season too, it's definitely not helping out boys. That's just definitely not helping us out. Uh, a playmaker with two two-way forwards. Uh, you know what? That could help us though. So Tobias Ryder in there. And that could definitely help us uh, in terms of production. So say Tobias right there and uh, Vanek you're going to play playing on the fourth line buddy. Let's go boys. There's a win. There's a shout out win. There's another win right there. Birchie got injured. Uh, I don't know. Let's go back there and I guess do best lines. There we go. Just do best lines for that. All right. Let's go, boys. Get another win. Get some wins here at the end here. Not not a loss in regulation. I want to see that bullshit. Come on, man. All right. Cini's back. Uh, uh, Ryder. I don't know, man. Vanek. I can't I can't get rid of Vanek, so I gotta get rid of uh, of him again. So Cini, you're going back again. Sniper, power forward, two way forward. Nah, let's just put ba Vanek back in there like it was before. There's a second loss in regulation in a row. There's a win against Ottawa. A loss in regulation, another loss. We're giving like seven goals per game here. That's terrible, boys. It's really terrible. There's a win. At least we're getting some wins, right? There's a two, three wins in a row. Can we get a fourth one to finish the season at least? Best lines for that. And there's a fourth win. Yeah. All right. So at least we finished up the season with four wins in a row. But obviously we didn't make it to the playoffs. We um we didn't even had the four uh 40 go 40 wins, and you need at least 40 wins to hope to get to the playoffs. So let's just look at where we got. We we were missing probably one one win right because we're at 39 wins let me see real quick uh f 500 so where were we oh we were way down there at 80 points only i mean yeah below 500 boys this is not good only two losses in uh overtime if we would have had a little bit more losses in overtime or shootout that would have helped us out a, a little bit but yeah we definitely got screwed here definitely got screwed all right. What about the players, though? The players, uh, some of them did really good. Others, not so much. So, let's see. Uh, the best scorer ended up being Pritchett. So, our brand new player, right away, starts off as our best scorer. 35 goals, 80 points in his first season. In any two games played, boys. At his first season right there. He's 88 goals. Uh, 88 uh, overall. This guy is crazy good. He's crazy good, and it's definitely going to help us out to have him on our team. We've got Nico Ischier. Um, I'm thinking uh, Ischier is really good as well. 30 goals, all right. He's the uh, best player of the team, obviously. Uh, these two playing together is just magic come true, boys. It's just how it is, really. Uh, so Ischier, 61 assists. Uh, like, God damn, that's crazy. Uh, he's definitely a two-way forward because, as you can see, he's got a lot of points. Run, uh, he's got a lot of goals, but also uh, the saving percentage. It's well, you could almost say he's a sniper even, but a sniper wouldn't make uh, sixty go uh, sixty assists. 
I'm not sure, boys. It's kind of in the a tweener, uh, tweenerville. Uh, this guy is much more of a. Um, a this guy is definitely a, a two way forward. Where Pritchett is definitely a two way forward. It says he's a sniper, right? But he's not. He's, uh, in my mind, definitely a two way forward. But oh well. Uh, Pro League uh, did really well. I mean, he played most of his season. Uh, in the first line until he got injured, got back and I uh, got him in the third line. So uh, I wanted to see if he would have helped us out. Kind of did a little bit, but I don't know. Tatar did all right. I mean, all these minuses, what can you do really? All right, I can't change my teammates. It's not a lot I can do to help out my team. I, I'm, I, my r rule is to have only European guys on my team. The best, like the best defenseman we've got is Andy Green. He's got 28 goal points only, so the de defense is what's struggling for us. We don't have any defense right now. And plus the goal is, I mean, Newverb was really good. Grice is just garbage. He's not a uh, starting goal there. He's actually a backup goaltender. He's, uh, yeah, he's not good for us. We gotta, f I gotta find a way to have a, a good player uh, on my team, boys, uh, or a good uh, goalie that really can help us out, make the difference during the season. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be playing bad, all right? It's gonna be the same thing every time. Uh, best score of the league was Crosby this year, 50 goals. Uh, Ovechkin was not even there. Uh, Stamkos, 107 points. Same thing for McDavid, 101 points for Drysaddle. Uh, Kucherov, Pedersen, uh, Malkin, uh, Ishia are eight there, nice. Crosby and Philip Fosberg in there as well. Uh, that should be in there. Uh, Defense-wise, best defenseman, X-Men Larson, 74 points. Petrangelo, Edmund, Dolly, UC, Carlson, McAvoy, Car uh, the other Carlson as well. And uh, Me Kyle McCarr, interesting. And for the goalies, best goalie, I'm thinking would be go to Anderson. Murray's got 42, but Mur uh, Anderson's got 40. It's kind of going to be a tie here. It's I'm looking at the same for the safe percentage here. And uh, yeah, for the rest is good. Best rookie of the season by far is going to be Pritchett. Yep, 82, 80 points, uh, 35 goals. Uh, uh, Jack Hughes, pretty good, pretty good as well, but not on the same level as my uh, my own guy. So let's go ahead and simulate until the draft, boys. I'll see you over there. All right, boys, let's get a draft already. Uh, New York Islanders, by the way, ended up having uh, winning the cup, which is interesting. So the Islanders of all teams uh, won a cup. Montreal looks to have the very first draft pick uh, this year. They went all the way up to 10th to the first one. So that's uh, a really good win for them, for their part. Uh, where are we? We dropped down to seventh, so we dropped down by one. We had the sixth overall. Uh, we are uh, we uh, we have the fifth overall, but now we're at six. So we're gonna have the six this year, uh, which is good enough. Top six, right? Top six draft pick. Uh, we can still do something with it. We can still uh, figure out if we have a good player or not that we can uh, have on our team. So let's look at it this way. All right. So the Fords. Nobody really interesting that um, retired this year. The best player being Kunitz, so it's nothing too interesting. Defensive-wise, we've got nobody. We do have uh, Andy Green, but we lost Andy Green on our part. I uh, decided to retire, boys. That's uh, not too bad. And uh, Torvenen and all this. Okay, so let's just look at our team because we know we, uh, we lost uh, Andy Green, but I want to look and see if we lost anybody else. Uh, that's about it. The, just Andy Green. All right, so we, that's the only guy we lost. All right, Andy Green became scout. Interesting for our team. Not uh, going to renew him though. There's no point. Uh, let's go look at the draft class though, really quick. I just want to look. So who's the big guy this year? Is Rally. He's a Swe uh, S uh, Sweden guy. So he's from Sweden, and we're not going to be able to take him then. I'm not going to be interested in him if uh, if we're He's uh, Sweden. This is an American. But well, we could go for Clinton Lau, though. He's set up to be third overall. Uh, if we don't go for him, six positions, we would have to go for one of these two guys instead. So, uh, Bel uh, Bellamy or 
Sylvan, which I don't know, all right? I don't know anything about. Let me just check out Clinton. Uh, Clinton now, I think he's gonna be, if he's set up to be turtle raw, we don't have to worry about it. What I do need to worry about is Bellamy or Sivan. So I wanna see, I wanna interview these two players and see uh, what type of potential they have, right? So play style, uh, readiness, how much, how ready is he? He's NHL ready, so he's ready for the league. So he's ready to play in the league. Uh, play style, gig, break new, how you can play, how you play. Yeah, play style, what's your play style? He's a two-way forward, okay. So, all right then. And what about personality? Personality, so how will you describe your personality? I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't care about that. So let's just go back to skills then. We're gonna do uh, strength. There we go, for the last question. All right, he's got good skating, I guess. So, all right, so he's a two-way forward. Two-way forward, he's NHL ready. That's all we know about him for now. Let me just see really quick. So uh, it says medium franchise. If he's a medium franchise, I doubt that that would be crazy if he is, boys. It's impossible that he is at uh, ninth position. He's a medium franchise. That's just impossible. I really doubt that. Uh, what about uh, Steven? I mean, that would be crazy if we uh, picked him up. Uh, Steven, play style. Let's go ahead, boys, and uh, look that up. So readiness. How, uh, how ready? He's initial ready as well. Play style, he's a power forward, interesting, a power forward. S uh, skill, let's uh, do the strength. What's uh, your strength here? Your shot, all right, this is shot since he's a power forward, makes sense. Okay, next up, all right, so these are the two, on the only two uh, we could. So I think he, I feel like he's a guaranteed medium elite, this guy. Uh, this guy probably is a, a medium elite as well. There's no way he's a medium franchise. Uh, we would have a choice between two elites there. So definitely two elites that both are ready to for the league. So I don't think it's too... I don't think it's the end of the world if we miss out on Clinton Lau here, boys. We can definitely go for one of these uh, two other guys uh, in there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and sim. So... We're gonna sim really quick. Sim the picks, Rally. That's the uh, elite high right there. Pavelski, 82 overall, medium high, uh, medium elite. All right. And uh, let's see. So Clinton Lau ended up being a medium elite, 78 overall. Interesting. Defensive defenseman though. So that's uh, quite interesting as a forward player. It would have been good for us, but I think. I think we can pick up somebody uh, really good for us, boys. I think we've got the potential to pick something good here. Uh, one of these two guys, all right? Uh, so let's see. Who, what, which one should we pick? The power forward? They're both right wingers anyways. One is 17 years of age and one is 18. You know what? They're both NHL ready, though. And if this guy is... Uh, let's go for Bellamy. Oh my god, let's hope let's hope that I'm not making a mistake here. It says medium franchise. I doubt it's franchise, but at least be an elite. Be an elite player. You're NHL ready. Please. Medium elite. Nice. 80 overall, medium elite, two-way forward, right winger, boys. We got ourselves another big time player. We we already have our player that plays with our two other guys. So Bellamy. With Ishiar and the other guy that we picked up um, last year. So, god damn, boys. We already have our three prospects playing together. That's crazy. We're going to have one hell of a first line in here. Yeah, he's going to be really good for us. All right, then. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that pick, boys. Definitely happy. All right. Next up. Now, we can look to this. We've got someone here. Germany. We've got someone from uh, Lithuania or whatever, or I think that's Norway actually. So we can't pick him up. That's Norway, but we can pick Puck though. What kind of name is that Puck? All right. We do have two 80s uh, of age. This guy is a center. He's got A plus. He, he played in the A plus. He played in the A plus as well. Hmm. I don't know boys, which one should we pick? The defenseman or the center? 
You know what? I should probably go for the defenseman. Uh, we need more defensemen here. So medium top six, 59 overall. That's fine. Don't know what I missed on, on, but hopefully it's not too much. Let's go look right here. Oh, that's interesting. Romania right here, boys. We're not going to pick him up, though. Uh, a little bit too far from me. Uh, let me just see. Um, we got nobody, really. Nobody so far. Oh, we get, There it is. There's some people right here. Brillin. That's a little bit too far from me, though. That's a little bit too far, though. That's uh, kind of Russia right here. Oh, there it is. We've got Vitaly right here. So we got some people. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So we found somebody here. We found Vitaly, 18 years of age, B plus league. He didn't do any points, though. Uh, center, uh, C, C minus. He actually did something minus one, though, for both of them. Uh, let's just go for the Frenchman. The Frenchman, uh, low seventh uh, defenseman. That's fine. All right, we're not going to pick anybody else. That could be interesting. So, might as well pick uh, some good players along the way that we uh, we think that are going to be good. All right, we got nobody else right now. Come on, somebody from Europe, please. Oh, there it is. Uh, Poland right here. We've got Poland. Oh, sure. Let's take a chance, boys. We got somebody from Poland. Let's take a look. All right, bottom six, low bottom six right here. Um, I mean, I got what I wanted out of this, my first round pick. Plus a 80 overall, 17 years of age. But this guy is going to be a stud, boys. Definitely. Uh, what is it? Um, we've got somebody right here. Okay. We do have two options here. The defenseman or the the guy right here. Definitely not him. He's 20 years of age. Uh, Svozil. Then let's go. Low top six as well. Good. Low top six. So nothing too horrible. We didn't pick up any AHL players or whatever. So as long as that doesn't happen to us, we should be all right. I guess I'm going to pick this guy up. He looks like he's better. Medium top six. All right, then. Sim pick. All right. So it looks like this was uh, the rest of this, uh, the draft pick. So we can simulate the rest. Um, Bilami is really good. Holy shit, man. I, I just want to look really quick. I'm going to go to the uh, resign phase really quick, boys. Just need a few, few seconds. All right, boys. So we're going to have uh, really quick uh, all the players coming back. It looks like uh, the coaches don't want to come back, though. There's a couple of people. Let me just make sure that all my contracts, everybody accepted them. Uh, it looks like Tata still doesn't want to come back, which is uh, a shame. So... We're going to make sure that he does come back because he's definitely probably one of our best options here. So we're going to give him the 6 million that he wants, I guess. Uh, he, he doesn't want to, he really doesn't want to come back with us, but he has no choice. Uh, we need him big time right now. So there we go. We absolutely need him big time. We'll make sure that he uh, comes back, boys. There we go. So he did uh, uh, come back. Now, coaching staff, let me just make sure really quick. Uh, Anybody else that wants to? All right, so these guys don't want to. Shit, these guys don't want to sign. All right, let me just make sure. This guy needs to be a head coach. There you go. I want him as a head coach. And you can be the associate. Uh, associate. Come on now. There we go. Just be the associate, buddy. Uh, don't be a uh, jackass about it. Uh, also, I got to tell you, boys. Uh, Fro leak. Oh, fuck. All right, so I think. Yeah, they don't want to come back. That's fine by me. If they don't want to come back, fuck, fuck these coaches, boys. They're from the AHL anyways. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. The uh, AI can deal with it. But yeah, let's go back to your free. Let's go to free engine and see. First thing I want to say is Pro League. Uh, playing, uh, playing him in the first line the entire time with these two players made him a stud. All of a sudden, he's not an 81 overall anymore. He's actually 85 overall. He went up by the uh, boys by by four which is crazy let me just go ufas all right centers i do know that we need two centers all right we already know the thing we are looking for european europeans here so let's go look for that let's look uh, for these europeans that we could have there's one already there's Krychi right here okay so we already have Krychi as an option we've got faxa 
All right, so already our uh, team's definitely going to be upgraded. Uh, let me make sure that uh, we don't have any better options in there, though. I don't think so. I think our be our best options are definitely Faxa and Krychi, both uh, Czechoslovakian, which is uh, really good for us. So one year. All right, we're going to give him a five-year deal. Uh, he's going to be there forever with us. Also, three, uh, 3.35 that he wants. We're going to give him, there's a lot of team that want him, so we're going to give him a 5.3, right, 5.325, 5 uh, there we go. And Faxa, uh, he doesn't have any players, that uh, any teams that want him, per se, so we uh, just want to make sure that he g does come with us, so 3.475. And there it is, we already have our, four sen uh, our two centers that we needed. Left wing, we need one left winger. Let me see really quick. Let's uh, take a look, boys, if we find somebody. Birchy, Sven Birch, easy, boys, right here. Uh, anybody else that would be interesting? Doesn't look like it. No, we're dropping to the 79s here. So, uh, Birch, easy seems to be the best one. Best option right here, S uh, Sniper. We're going to look at that in its own right. So uh, yeah, he's a sw he's a Switzer uh, Switzer uh, guy. So uh, two years, perfect for me. I'm gonna make sure that he, that he does come with us. So two point uh, three point eight seventy five. Let's go, boys. All right, right winger position. We 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 need one right winger. Our team is gonna upgrade big time now. Uh, all these uh, Europeans coming true right now. All right, let's go. Oh, we got somebody. All right, so Kunakle seems to be the best option. Just uh, drop all the way down to him. There we go. See if there's any other options in the 78s here. Uh, doesn't look like it. So Kunakle is going to be our best option. Let's pick him up, boys. And uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we could pick him up for one year only. Make sure that he does come with us. So 2 million. We're giving him 2.050. And D-Van. So the D-man position, we need uh, one defenseman. We need one defenseman. Let's see if we can't pick him up. Anybody in particular. Let's go. Any good uh, defenseman that could be our l good luck here. Doesn't seem like there's going to be any stud defensemen for us. Uh, so, all right. Going to have to look a, lot of, uh, a little bit further here. Yeah, there's nobody right now. Holy shit. They're all from, uh, there we go. Radix C uh, Simon. Let me just make sure Simic. There we go. There's gotta be some other uh, defensemen as well. Nope. Okay. So uh, it's one of these two. Uh, which one do I want? So Simic is a uh, two-way four, two-way defenseman. Masson is a two-way as well, but he can grow. So we're gonna pick up uh, Masson since he can still grow, and uh, he's got a two-way deal. We're just gonna give him the maximum. There we go, Dan. Okay, so goalies now for, to end it up, we need two goalies, one for the AHL, one for the main go, uh, main thing. Let's hope that we can find somebody. Is he Dumnik is from Canada? God damn, that's where uh, Rittich, Rittich though is one of them. That's interesting. So David Rittich could be good for us. Yeah, he could be good. Let's pick him up. Let's uh, let's pick him up. Uh, three year, a uh, five year deal. Oh boy. That's quite a lot, though. That uh, five years is quite a lot. It's, that would put him at 33 years of age. So if I do that, that would put him uh, seven year deal. Let's give him a seven year deal. 5.5, boys. It's going to be a, a big time deal, boys. He's going to stay with us. All right. The other option, obviously, we've got um, Thomas Grice in here. But Grice was absolutely garbage for us. Absolutely garbage. I'm, I don't even trust him to be our backup. Uh, he, he did not play good for us the entire time. I just need one more goalie here. Anybody, really. I trust Nuvers for playing backup, so we're good on that part. There we go. Fran uh, Francouz, boys. I think he should be good enough, so let's pick him up. Uh, let's just give him a two-year deal like that. Uh, we do need a depth of forward, though. We're going to need a depth forward. So let's just look really quick. Anybody else that we could possibly find. So let's see if we can't find anybody, boys. Oh, we have somebody. No, that's pretty cheesy. We already uh, are signing him. All right, let's try to find a player, boys. 
a player that might uh, be good enough for us. So Grabner, no, he's from uh, a little bit too far away from uh, for us here. Let's continue uh, to see if there's anybody from uh, any country that we want. Come on. There's got to be something. All right. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. There's literally nothing. No, nothing so far, boys. No players. He's got... Oh, hold on. Gergensen, is that it? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, is that Poland? I don't know. I think it's that... No, that's Estonia or something. So that We don't want that. We're not interested. Uh, Kunako, we're already working on him. We need another player. Come on. I can't find anybody, boys. Oh, boy. All right, finally, Thomas Yurko. Finally, we, s we found somebody. All right, let's uh, pick him up for a two-year deal. All right. Hopefully, they're all going to accept here. They should uh, be able to all accept. So, Cam Fowler's going to Tampa Bay, boys, in exchange for two first-rounders. Looks like... Anaheim is unloading. They're going for a rebuild. All right, let's hope. Let's just hope that they all accept. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's nice. I got all of them. I got all of them, boys. All right, we can uh, go to the actual season now and look at our roster the way it's going to look. All right, boys, so this is what our team is going to look like this year. Uh, it's going to look like for this, uh, at least for now, uh, when we started off, it's going to look like this. So, Fritchett. Uh, which is the ni name of the guy that I forgot about for some reason. He's already at 90 overall already. Uh, still our medium franchise. He's definitely going to be eventually 95 at least minimum uh, by the next year or something. I, I guarantee you boys. But 90 overall with our 92 overall Nico Isha. All right. So still playing these two together. I was tempted to do Fro League, but I went for Birchie. Uh, how I went it for I look at the offensive awareness and defensive awareness who's got the best one actually 85 87 and this guy 86 uh, 85 that puts us at 85 uh, and that puts him at 86 you know what yeah pro league is better so yeah let's put these guys together again yeah let's definitely put these three guys together same first line as last year they did really well together uh, Thomas Tatar at the second place, 87 for him. That's 86 for Vanek. Uh, 80, oh yeah, so good, good, good. I want to make sure really quick that I didn't make a mistake. So 88, uh, 85. Uh, okay, there we go. What about him? So 85, I'd say. That's 83. And that's 84. So 84 and that's 85 right there yeah all right so that's how it's going to be boys so it's going to be uh the the f same first time as last year different line up this year though for these uh, these guys uh Krejci, uh tatar and uh Berchizi, which is going to be a very interest uh, interesting in itself uh vanek faxa and bellamy so three new players in here so two new players playing together you could say these three, uh, th these two lineups are completely new anyway, since Tatar is kind of uh, a new player by himself as well. Uh, Kunako, new player as well, with uh, two veterans in Bodker and Oz in our team. So our team is a little bit better. Our players are getting better. Uh, these three just are continuously to be growing up. We've got a brand new player coming in as well, Medium Elite, Bellamy. Right, I wanted to test him out with these two but he's not quite ready yet uh he's not quite there yet right he's not uh ready for the defense though we're gonna have this guy which i cannot pronounce for the life of me his name but he's gonna be playing with root on the first uh duel masson with weber and it's gonna be spiza and M uh, mueller for the third duel so that's how it's gonna be boys our defense is definitely our weak spot right now our goalie situation is much better though uh, this year, which uh, Richie being 84 overall, uh, one overall more than uh, Grice, but I hope that Richie is going to do better than Grice did as the main starter, uh, even though, he, yeah, he's actually a starting goaltender uh, this time around. So we do have a starting goaltender and we've got Newvert, uh, which was good for us last year. I don't know if he's going to still be good for us. Uh, we just hope so. And Nozek and Sy uh, Sygentel or whatever. 
They both uh, are going to be our backup uh, depth wise. For the AHL, well, it is what it is. I'm just going to do best lines. I don't care. Belma is still there, but I'm not playing him, boys. Same thing for Bergman. So, uh, some people, some of these players, uh, Tobias Ryder, they played last year for us. They're not playing this year. All right. I've got better players replacing them and everything. So better offense, defense, kind of the same. So we're still very weak on defense. The goalies upgraded though. So let's see where this is going to lead us. And the next video, I'm going to, uh, we're going to start the simulation, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to uh, this one. Give it easy, boys.